Time to go through another bin. I brought in a bin, a tote, and a bag in from the Goodwill Bins Hall three times ago now that I just got that hat run out of the way. So three times ago, still processing. So we'll get into what we got here. We'll go through it and see what surprises we have. Like a Target dog from 2011. Ruff, ruff, ruff. I gotta put this in a certain way so I can count it all after I'm done with the video so I don't mess my numbers up. If you remember the last video, he needs a little work. He needs a lot of work. His phone's kind of out of place and such. Dude's got some serious bad head kicking right there. <laughs> serious bad head. You know what, I'm just gonna do this while I'm going. Two toys. Here's that Goodwill haul. So this has been, what, a week and a half now I've been working on this? At four hundred eighty-nine dollars and eighty-three cents. Put it on my Discover card, and here's what I do: I break it down into clothes, other media, shoes, and toys, and then I just take a counting run. This is more for me than accounting. Don't really need this. This is for more for mine, and I got a spreadsheet. I put all this information on. So if I have like a certain high month or a high year, because things change over time, like maybe one store will dry up another store will be good etc cetera, etc cetera. i can look back on the history of all the places i've shopped and i see goodwill outlet and i'll put a mills location on there and i can go back and say hey man that month i had a killer month what did i do during that month and i can look back at all the places i sourced and things like that so i can go oh hey i haven't been there in a while let me start checking that place out again so this is more for me just to keep i'm like i gotta i didn't used to run the business so tight fit with the numbers and stuff and that's what got me a lot in trouble when i started beginning the business when we were just spending money crazy i didn't care about the numbers dude i was having the time of my life and that's what caused the debt now that i'm trying to get that debt down and gone i i can tell you all numbers all time down to how many freaking pieces of whatever i bought so that's what i'm doing this is a cool carnet carhartt why don't we say carnet carhartt jacket electrical jacket i love stuff like this love the stuff this is something that I don't even know if this exists, but if there's, this still exists, a worker, a future worker might buy it from me. If it don't exist, somebody who used to work there might buy it for me. Sometimes I'll even have the business owners buy the stuff from me. So this, I'll put this up for like 70 bucks, if not more. And chances are there's not gonna be any of this out there. So it's one of those items I might sit on for a little bit, but I can ask whatever price I want on it. And that's the beauty of this stuff. Like I said, I've had owners of businesses contact me and say, hey, where'd you get that? And especially if it's vintage, man, I, that's kind of cool. I haven't seen that in, since my grandpa ran the business, et cetera, et cetera. And they'll buy it for it from me, so. so try to keep clothes together, but that ain't gonna work. These are some cute kids. Kind of beat a little bit, but some like Air Max. Air Max are almost like turfs. So there we go. I have to straighten them out a little bit, but and a pair of Echoes. This is simple. Echoes. So two pairs of shoes. Hats, I've been blending the hats with the clothes, so I probably should have broke them down. Maybe I'll break them down in the new year, keep hats separate than clothes. So, that Milwaukee Brewers staff hat, kind of cool. One, two. It's got the vintage look to it, but it's not vintage. What does that say? Oh, it's Adidas. I couldn't even see what it said. Pretty kick ass. 
PQ. Got books. I do. Remember, I had said that I got two buyers that come in just buy generic type shirts from me. I actually haven't seen them in. I thought they would come back being that uh, I've been listing a lot of generic shirts, but I haven't seen either one of them come back in at least three months. So, hmm. I wonder what happened there. Women's just do it. It's going to be stain wear or stain guard on it, or whatever it's called. Schnooks, it's a local grocery store. I just put one of these up the other day. Different color, I think. I'll put this straight here. This stuff separate. Ivory Club. It's got that vintage look to it. That's why I grabbed that. I gotta get that up now. It's like the Coca Cola Bear, but. I guess a rip off of the Coca Cola Bear. Cola Bear. Still separate. Oh, Coconut Love, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Life is crap. Online dating, perception, reality. Funny. Pona Pona. It's pandanom, pandemonium. It's a catastrophe. Alrighty. Not familiar with it. If that's anything, reference in anything, anyway. How can I think outside the box when they won't even let me out of it? All right. Coffee Kings, Paul Bearer and the Coffee Kings. Is that a band, maybe? If it's a local band, I have not heard of them. Oh, there we go. Love that stuff. Love, love. Love, love. Love, love. It's a cool little spiffy woman's hat. Redhead. That's that's a youth. Twisted T. Bride Tribe. I think I sold all my bride and groom hats. That's cool. I think I've had this one before. I always just find generic bride hats and groom hats. They usually sell pretty quick. I got two bride hats left. And two groom hats left. Groom and father of the groom. So that's cool. Okay, looks like all the clothes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 1920 clothes. All right, let's get into this other stuff. I grabbed this. Looks like it's just material. So Garfield. It's date on it. Is there a date on it? It says Garfield Catitude Apron. Oh, it's like a, oh, okay, it's an apron pattern. Pattern. I guess you can cut it out and make your own apron out of it. Got the straps, I guess, over here. All right, I got it. That's cool. Oh, well, it says it right there. If you just learned to read, James. That's cool. I don't see a date, though. 
That's very cool. I like that. All right, so that's one. I think I grabbed that to put stuff in it, and I didn't even use it. Ladies' Pride. My guess is this was mixed in with a shirt. Because <laughs> I don't remember grabbing that. So. Three others there. Break. This was kind of cool. Gunby style. Gunby. Philadelphia Derringer. That's pretty cool. One, two, three, four others. Five others. Just a little simple cordless phone. Five other. Two media. A couple of cassettes, nothing major. And three more shoes. pair of women's kangaroos. I remember when I was in seventh or eighth grade, had me a pair of white high top kangaroos and the pocket was in the tongue. I always kept my uh, change in it for chips at lunchtime. So. Nikes, nothing major. And some little Converse. All right, that's the tote. Now I got a bag. This is the other Who bag. If you're watching these Ben's videos, so that's the second one. Ooh, oh, nice. See, that's the thing. Like on hats, I don't even pay attention when I'm there. I just grab them all. Check that out. That's kick ass. Made in Korea. Not to get that straightened out, but still, that's cool. Like a leather. I don't know if it's. Yeah, I think it's fake leather. Pleather. Pleather. That's cool. Put this up here so I can count it. Freightliner trucks. Love anything truck related. Equal the performance. Another Freightliner. Truck Pride. We got a lot of truck hats. I like that. I like it. Double coin tires. Another equal tire performance. Love transportation related shit. That stuff moves. Treadco. I'm guessing that's another tire. Situation there. Stewart, Florida. Marshall Falk. Little kids dare hat, or dare shirt, I should say. Oh, it's got writing on it. I'll probably go and give away. Go back out. All right, looks like all the, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 more pieces of clothing. That cool little tigger. The fluffy tigger. So, one toy. Oh yeah, I remember seeing this. Very nice. Actually, the neighbor boy, I guess he's 23 now, 24 maybe. This dude could have been like a professional hockey player. I mean, he was that good. And uh, he was, he got a, uh, I don't know how it's, what it's called, admitted or, or asked to join the, the Junior Blues. And he turned it down because he was going to go in the military. And he's, uh, 
he went through training to fly jet or fight or fighter jets so that was cool so he's into the whole uh i don't know if he's actually all he he's not all the way through because he put a video up where they were doing the g-force tests on him where he was pushing over seven g's on that machine and they had the camera right on you and stuff so they can evaluate how you're reacting and stuff to it it's pretty wild so that's kind of cool so it'd be he's living his dream so that's cool quick trip i haven't never i haven't seen this one so i grabbed it i don't know if there's a huge collection for these out there or not So let's type in quick trip. That yeah, quick trip travel insulated. There we go. It's one up for thirty, not like this, just a plain white one for thirty bucks. Uh, sold. Ah, there we go. There's one uh, bronze looking one with a different car on it. Sold for fifteen bucks, ten dollars shipping. So there is value in this. As long as it ain't too grossed out, but I can't clean it. Nope, very nice. So, 15 bucks, I'll put it up for like 20, 25, and throw a sale on it and see what happens. Kick okay, ass, see, you never know. You never know. I didn't know, but it's transportation related, so I grabbed it. And it turned out good, so. I just picked up this while I was there. Some of these go for decent money, so. It has no real name on it, but I'll look it up by the part number. ADP25HB. ADP25HD. See, I don't have my powerful glasses on. Let's see, is that right? HB25. ADP, yep, that's right. None listed, but probably put up for 10, 12 bucks. Might even be able to Google it and figure out what it went to. So did I, okay, so that's three others. Here comes my dad. What's up? Oh no, I, I'll do that. I'll do that uh, right after I'm done here. Yeah, they should have been here by now, but you got enough tanks now, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. All right. I don't know. So I'll call her and have her call them and see what's up. So, hmm. He walks in here without his oxygen on. He. He's got to wear oxygen 24 hours a day, seven days a week from smoking. My mom died from smoking. He didn't die from smoking, but he can't breathe on his own. And he's like, he's got the machine here, but he orders tanks. So when we go out, he'll take the tanks with him. Or when I give him a shower or whatever, he'll wear the tanks. And they were supposed to deliver the tanks yesterday, but they didn't. So my sister supposedly called him, so I have to call her and just see what's up with that. Uh, but he walks in here without air. He's not supposed to walk anywhere. His, they tested him when he first moved in. They tested like him just going from like when the nurse would come after he got out of the hospital from his pacemaker. He walked from the kitchen table to the bathroom and back. And he was already over, I forget the number scale that they use, but something like 80 or something, which is... I don't, it was very bad, but I don't remember if it was low or high. I don't know, remember how all that worked, but he's not supposed to take the air off anywhere, anytime. So I'm just waiting for this one of these times where I'm just going to hear a plop because he, he, he'll walk in the kitchen without the air. He'll walk in here without the air. And I tell him, stop it. <laughs> he came in here yesterday and um, he went to get his nails cut, but uh, they had band-aids on two of them because they he's you know got the old old real thick hard nails to get rid of so they were bleeding when they did it so he wanted me to take the band-aids off yesterday he walks in here without it tries putting his foot up and says i can't reach my foot take the band-aids off get back in there put on your air i'll be in there in a second so it's like having a kid you know but hey it's cool it's cool i mean 
I, I feel lucky that I get to spend all this extra. All this extra time with them. And I wish my mom was here too, because I would have I would have loved to take care of her too. Have you seen my videos with Vern? My St. Bernard. She would have loved that dog. I mean, loved that dog. <sighs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> One second. All right, I'm back. What's up, babies? There he is there. What you doing? <laughs> hey, we're just outside playing. Man, this thing's gonna fall one day. I gotta redo this. Cause this whole crooked thing's getting on my nerves. All right, some fossil. Pretty decent shape, shoes. So we got one pair, two, three, four, five, six pairs of shoes. The shoes and the hats dried up over at the Goodwill outlet for quite a while. Not that long, actually, a few months. Like, what the hell happened? We thought somebody was buying them out of the back. At least that was the rumor going around that somebody was backdooring them and buying them by bulk. So either that stopped or that wasn't the case and they didn't start bringing shoes and hats out again. So, pair of Sacconis, flattened. Some camouflage airwalks. All decent shape, too. Don't you fall again! That was my QT mug. And another pair of Nikes. Pretty cute. Pretty good shape. How many did I count? One. One, two, three, four, five. What did I write down? Six. Five, six, okay. Make sure I wasn't seeing things. Oh, there was an extra pair there. And it's Lemon's New Balance. One, two, three, four, five, six media. That's nothing super great. Bob Seegers. I'll probably put these in a lot. That's probably like 10 bucks, these two. Um, I can probably put those in a lot, 10 bucks. And then we just got Letterman and Barbara Streisand. And a shirt I missed. Artemis Pile Driver? Equal company the cash? Equal to the cash. I'm curious to see what this is. So we'll check this before I let you go. And I'll move on to another video with another lot. A R T I M U S P Y L E D R I B E R. Correct. Yep, it's a band. Nice. Well, I wouldn't think there's anything else other, more than one thing called this. It's a pretty unique name. CDs, and all that's up here is a CD and a poster. Asking 25 for a poster. Let me copy this and check uh, the Terra Peak ebates terra peak now let's see what we got here we got something cds cds whoa totes are falling off behind me stay up there don't well, make a mess behind me uh this is the second time i've seen uh oh does nashville pussy have a band called or have an album called that what, what, maybe they do. Unless they're just touring with them. Oh, yeah, they toured with Nashville Pussy in 2007. 
I haven't listened to them in forever. I might have to pull this up on Spotify and see what they sound like because I've never heard of these guys. Pull up some Nashville Pussy too. I haven't heard them in a while. I don't think I've listened to them since worked in the music store days, to be honest with you. It's been a while. Uh, so let's see. A, sh a poster back in June sold for 30 bucks by this band. There's no shirts out there. Let me Google. Oh, shoot. I hate when that happens. You go to hit Google and you hit the X instead. Or to go hit the page and you hit X instead. I gotta pull that page up. So, a musical group from the United States, Atlanta, Georgia, formed in 2001, Sludge Southern Metal. Uh, they split up in 2007. That could be a good thing when it comes to the value of my shirt. There they are on Spotify. I would play some, but I don't want to get flagged because I want to get paid for these videos. <laughs> well, the band's out there, reviewed out there. Here's our Facebook page. Let's see what we got on there. 1,200 likes. Let's see. Last posted December 4th, so they're still listing stuff, posting stuff. So maybe I'll when I put this up on eBay, I'm going to put the link on their page and see what happens. I don't know what to ask for, to be honest with you. I can't find nothing in comps. I'm, I'm going to hit it hard. I might hit it at like 99 bucks, best offer, and see what happens. It's one of them things that I get to dictate the price. And it's only going to be worth what somebody's willing to pay for it. So we'll see how willing some of these participants are. So... All right, that's it in that one. We'll catch you on the next one and have some more fun. So like, subscribe, urban-picker.com to buy. And uh, catch you later, alligator. Do the dance, do the dance, do the dance, do the dance. Bye.